this is Mara Elaine on the Vines Face channel and today I'm doing an unboxing from Picky Nicky. Picky Nicky is just the beam of sunshine to us all uh, in the auction and reseller community. Uh, she lives probably just like 40 minutes from me and her husband uh, owns a business was like within 10 minutes of um, the place I lived last year. I lived on the north side for 20 years and he has a business up there. So, uh, and uh, we have gone to lunch uh, with uh, Picky Nicky and to meetups. Uh, we went to St. Mary's restaurant. Oh, I didn't go to that with Marty. I took someone else. But, uh, I'm not sure if she's met Marty or not. Okay, there's the faint smell of cigarette smoke. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I'm sure she keeps her inventory separate uh, from her um, area where her family smokes. I, I'd say somebody that packed this up might smoke. <laughs> but it's not something that's going to be, well, we'll find out, going to be on the product. I'm going to put this piece of tape off the end of the table. Now, um, to say this is shipped protected is an understatement. Absolutely have done a wonderful job here in protecting this product. In fact, I have to look back and laugh at people who have sent glass less protected than this. Because most people would have stuck this in a, a bubbled um, envelope and sent it. I've had dishes sent that way. And uh, this has been very well cared for and protected. And see that it's in a baggie. Yep, there's no smoke smell inside. There's no smoke smell on the product. But let's look and see what this is. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me see if I can open this so I can reseal it. I believe I can. Yeah, there's just a little tear that's going to happen here. And look at all these wonderful stickers. This is Halloween. There's Jack. <clears throat> oh, these are lovely. Let's see. Let me try that with a different one. There's Sally. There's a really mean Jack. Okay. There's a devil. I don't care much for him. See if I can get the adhesive off of this one. Yeah. Okay. Fitting right on top of the barcode. These are cool and they work. They're uh, high quality paper. These are, um, they're black and white 
Yeah, they're all black and white. But <coughs> given their nightmare before Christmas, it's okay. Now, what's happening to my throat? <laughs> it's like, uh, quite honestly, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. And now I remember why I don't do boxing. So, and these are Pikachu. 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 I don't see any other Pokemon. Because Pikachu is so popular, they put Pikachu on the top. I don't know if these are the same. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And the other one I'm going to leave, leave sealed. I don't know if there's a flap opening on this or I'm going to have to cut it open. Let's get it open. Okay, well, let's just cut the little, the smallest amount off that we can. Oh my goodness. Oh, and these are in full color and glossy. Let me see. Okay, we have some other Pokemon in here. I was hoping I'd run across some that I know. There's Ash. It's Ash, Misty, and Brock. I don't see a Brock one in here. <coughs> Brock was deemed uh, politically incorrect later. <laughs> so he's not as popular. He was always, um, and I thought it was pretty wild that they did this. Of course, uh, the Japanese culture is different uh, than the American culture. There's Squirtle. I know one of them besides Pikachu. Um, he was always flirting with the nurses in a pretty aggressive way. There's another Squirtle. And here's a Pokemon ball. And here's Pikachu holding a picture a uh, Pikachu? Okay. This is adorable. I don't know what Pokemon that is, though. And I don't want... This one looks a little more familiar. Like, I've seen this one in a poke battle, but I don't um, recall the name. Oh, my gosh. This is adorable. Pikachu as a pirate, it looks like. Yeah. And there's Ash pulling out his Pokemon for the battle. <laughs> that reminds me of Pat D's. <laughs> oh, a little thank you sticker. And this angry little purple guy. I don't know who he is. I was just wondering if there was any, um, oh, I don't know if this unboxing will air because of copyright. Oh, dear. Dr. Pikachu. They may uh, remove the comments on this Picky Nicky because um, this is uh, considered a children's anime. Yeah. There's Misty again. Yeah, I haven't seen any for um, Brock at all. Yeah, I had this with another sticker lot that was um, had a lot of different images in it, and it was an issue. So I don't know. Uh, 
I'm so sorry if this doesn't air, but it's just, it's the items that I bought. That's kind of weird. But I hope this airs, and I hope that um, you all are able to make comments. Because I like that on my videos. I like feedback. But um, I think I got this at Picky Nikki's last chance auction that she has on the weekend. But uh, these are uh, going to be loved. Somebody's going to be thrilled. Uh, we have been doing, um, that one looks like an angry squirrel. I must say that January 21st is National Squirrel Appreciation Day. And it's the day that the squirrels have the least amount of food out of the year. There was a, uh, I think she was a botanist in North Carolina that figured out what day the squirrels were the hungriest in the year in North Carolina about 15 years ago. So um, I don't know if, so they declared January 21st National Squirrel Appreciation Day. I don't know if that's still scientifically true, uh, but you know, they gather all the food they can in the fall, but sometimes they don't make it all the way through the winter. And before things start blooming again, uh, they can run out of food. But the environment's changing, so I don't know if that's the exact day. But that's the day that we think about the squirrels and put out some peanuts and salted peanuts uh, for the squirrels for them to have. I don't know if peanuts are their favorite or if that's necessarily good for them. Um, because um, they seem to enjoy them. <laughs> And I don't think peanuts are harmful to them. So, uh, but um, whatever you think is best to feed the squirrels with, please do that on the 21st uh, if you can. I may air this on uh, the 21st. I may air it early. So that people can know that. Oh, okay, this did have a thing, but it's going to be easier for me to pack this in here with that up. That's funny. I found it after the fact. Uh, I really enjoyed these stickers, and uh, my um, Marty will enjoy them too, very much so. I normally don't air, air unboxings on Saturday, but in this case, I'm going to make an exception. Oh, I'm just to give this as a Sunday gift. Oh, no. I'll go ahead and air it Saturday. I don't think Marty will watch it. <clears throat> but we did uh, 12 Days of Christmas, starting Christmas Day. And I had ordered so much stuff. It's a gift every day for Christmas until Epiphany, which is January 6th, and we did that. And I still had stuff ordered uh, for Marty uh, for Christmas. So we're doing the first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday, you get the idea of Epiphany. And that's uh, what we're doing. So um, it's just a little something every Sunday now until Fat Tuesday, and then we go into Lent. And during Lent, uh, we won't be ordering anything other than, um, or unboxing anything other than food. Marty will be thrilled with that. And that I don't have to wrap. I'll just put that down in this stocking and they won't even know. 
that that's going on. Um, I don't know. Should I put it back in the box? Thank you so much for all the uh, bubble wrap and really, really protecting these items uh, for Marty. I don't know that you knew they were for Marty when I ordered them or whether I was going to resell them or what. But uh, See, I put to the tape to the side. And I'm just going to put that right back on the box and put it over here. And Marty won't even know it's been open. <laughs> the things we do as parents, you know. Here I am in the middle of the night in January, still squirreling away presents. <laughs> Pun intended. But uh, yes, I'm an insomniac right now in this video. It's going to be a, an unboxing by an insomniac. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy my antics and um, the additional stuff I say about things like National Squirrel Appreciation Day and recycling and reusing. So um, give me some feedback if you can. <laughs> Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.